Welcome to Xiao Zhan One O O Five Radio Station. Xiao Zhan, Xiao Zhan, Xiao Zhan, Xiao Zhan, La Passion, La Passion, 热爱科技岁月漫长，让我们一起变成更好的人吧。Dear 小飞侠 ，How are you doing? From blooming spring to hot summer, and from golden fall to cold winter, our voice will accompany you through this radio station in four seasons. The first snow in Beijing of the year 2021 has come as expected. The snowflakes swirling and dancing in the sky bring in every wisp of the tenderness in our memories for the past years. In this pure white serenity, the precious moments between him and us have gradually appeared again. Since the start of winter, 1005's radio station has received many letters from Xiaofeixas that are filled with warmth and love. Let us hear together the heartfelt voices from around the world. The first letter comes from an overseas Xiaofeixia who shares her feeling after listening to Xiao Zhan singing "The Foreign Lander" at the Spring Festival Gala on Dragon TV. I've been away from my hometown for more than ten years. Just like the lyrics in his song, my accent has been hidden, and I have gradually taken the foreign land as my second hometown. I can still recall the words that I read in middle school, written by a renowned Chinese novelist Shi Tiesheng. One's hometown is not only defined by a specific piece of land, but a vast feeling that is not confined by time or space. Once this feeling is aroused, you are already back in your hometown. The Spring Festival is the time for family reunion. Xiao Zhan's singing is just like the warm lights in my hometown far away, accompanies me, comforts me, and arouses this vast feeling of my hometown. Listening to his singing. Makes me feel happy and relieved, as if I were actually at home. The second Xiao Feisha is from Canada, and she is a few years older than Xiao Zhan. She shares her thoughts on the premiere of A Dream Like a Dream. When Beijing sees its first fairy, the trees and lawns here shall long be covered by a heavy layer of white snow. The cerulean sky after the storm is already reminiscent of your bright and charming eyes. 2021 has been a remarkable year for you and us all, Xiao Feixia. On April 22nd, the charitable premiere of A Dream Like a Dream was staged at Wuhan Qingtai Theatre. The audiences entered the dream of patient number five through your acting. You led their hearts and souls, traveling through time and spaces, immersing in this play of life. Reflecting on our different stages in life, some of us may have lived in various cities. Or become acquainted with numerous people, the passing yesterday and the vivid memories are indeed like dreams. However, in these dreams, there are also real laughter, tears, and many touching moments. For instance, the Xiaofeixia fandom bonds because of you, and share the love because we love you. The most precious affections manifest into a red sea of light, a sea of flowers. And charity marathons warm the hearts of many others. Thus, we achieve invaluable positivity, intimate friendships, and our brother selves. The Xiao Feixia who wrote the third letter is a final year undergraduate student studying in England. She shares with us some warm moments she has had about the first snow. I can still recall the first winter when I arrived in England, the record-breaking cold winter. Brought a grand snowy show that dressed everything in pure white. After an overnight snow, the ground was covered with ice. The wind and snowstorm made it extremely difficult for me to walk to the classroom. Even I walk with extra caution. It was inevitable that I slip from time to time. While I was struggling walking, I saw an elderly man with his little dog waving towards me from a distance. I waved back, greeting, "Good morning." When we were closer, he said, "You would better walk on the glass rail. It's much less slippery. Take care, little girl." This simple and kind word rendered me warmth in the bitter cold winter. Currently, I'm in my last year of undergraduate studies. Besides the daily schoolwork, 
The application to graduate schools also calls for an enormous amount of time and effort. Sometimes I feel exhausted, yet I understand that everyone needs to strive on the way of chasing their dreams. I always recall the words you said: "We need to accept the challenges in everyday life and achieve future goals step by step with determination." Even though we may encounter difficulties or drawbacks along the way, we should always hold on to our initial motivations and dreams, stay true to ourselves, and live the best we can. When I feel discouraged, your songs and your smiles always encourage me with infinite warmth and strength. Reading the letters from Xiao Fei Xia, our dearest memories came to us again. The dancing snowflakes in the north. Are our shared love that fly thousands of miles and connect us heart to heart? Let these pure white fairies carry our hopes to every corner of the world. Bring our best wishes to him and to every one of us who has accompanied each other for the past year. This is Xiao Zhan 1005 Radio Station. See you in the next episode.